Hi, in this video I'm going to show you the easiest way to set up Google authorship on a WordPress blog. So what we're going to do first is go to here to the rich snippet tool and I'm showing you here that the page doesn't contain any authorship markup. The page I'm referring to is this page. So this is a relatively new site that I haven't really done much with. So I'm going to show you how to install the plugin and configure everything. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is go to plugins, add new, and the plugin you want is WordPress SEO. And it's by a guy by a guy named Yoast. And it's this one right here. Click install now, then OK. Then activate the plugin. All standard WordPress stuff, right? Once it's activated, we can go configure a few things. Go ahead and click allow tracking. And then what we need to do is click close and then titles and metas under SEO. And then go to the home tab and author highlighting. We want to click on the author that you want to, to appear in your authorship. And this Google publisher page will show you how to go get that right now. So you got to go to plus.google.com and this is assuming that you have a Google Plus profile and you have a Google Plus business page. So what we need to do is find that business page. So we'll go to plus.google.com, click in the upper right hand corner, and I'm going to look for this page right here. And it's basically this URL minus some characters. So what you want to miss is the U, the O, the B, and everything after the, that first slash after the long string of numbers. All right. So we're going to copy that. And then we're going to go back to here and paste that in here. That's that. So then we can click Save Settings. And then we need to go to the user page and go to your profile. And you just want to make sure that a few things are here. So Google Plus, this is another URL we're going to go get. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Make sure you have some bio biographical information here. And make sure you put some meta here for SEO purposes. And then make sure that you click these two boxes right here that say enable author box on this user's posts and user's archives. So let's go find this URL right here. So you go back to your Google Plus profile and you click on view profile and the URL in question is this one up to here and you can take out the U and the zero, leave off the posts as well copy that, go back to your profile page, paste that in, take out that extraneous stuff, and then go down to the bottom and update your profile. Then what you want to do is you want to go back to plus.google.com, go to edit your profile or view your profile, and then click on edit. Go down to the contributor section, and I've already entered it here, but what you would do is click anywhere in the blue, and we're going to show you how to add it. You type in the name of your website and the URL of your website, and it will look like this in my case. Now you'll notice this is a special URL. It's the URL forward slash author forward slash my username. The way you go find that is a little tricky, so go ahead and save that once you've done it. But the way you find that is you type in forward slash author in your web page, and you're going to get a 404 error. But then you can come down here and look at authors and look at your name, and you can see that the URL is forward slash author forward slash your name. So you can just copy that link address go back here and change it. All right. Now you also want to do the same thing on your publisher page. 
So this is my publisher page, edit profile, and I've already done that here too. You want to put in the website area your URL. Okay, so hit save when you're done there, and then hit done editing. Go back here and say done editing, and we can go back to home here and go look at a page on your blog for example you see this and it says forward slash author forward slash bill let's click on this one and you should get a bio box right here right okay there it is now let's go back to that rich snippets tool and the way you find that is go to Google type in rich snippet and it autofills for you so choose rich snippets testing tool and then select the first one and then put in your URL of your website and remember it looked like this a bunch of warnings with a status that says page does not contain authorship markup now we're going to go here and check again by clicking on preview and you will see that it shows my picture this is how it's going to look in a search result or possibly look in a search result and it also says extracted author publisher for this page author it shows my Google Plus profile right here and here and it says verified authorship mark markup is verified for this page it also says publisher and this is my publisher ID page and it says verified publisher markup is verified for this page so that's it pretty easy right any questions give me a holler